Hi Scorpio, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a general tarot forecast. We're going to take whatever energies come out, whether they be love, uh, career, finance, family, friend, whatever we get here um, is what we get. So we'll look at your energy, your situation, what's going on with you, um, advice for your situation, possible outcome, advice all clarified with tarot and oracle cards so if you click down the title then there's something in here probably for you that will resonate for you so please only take what resonates to throw away the rest including signs mentioned i could pick up on past present future something going on with something around you that may be um, affecting you in some way please keep that in mind so i hope everybody's doing well happy fall happy december this is good for now obviously it's going to be out before december so it's good tell whenever you see this tell whenever so um, if you feel like you want to watch past playlists, I do consider them all timeless, even though they're dated. Um, please feel free. Uh, playlists are listed below. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. So with this deck, sign, element, planet, see what we get. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out, totally fine. All right, Scorpio, what do we, whoa, what do we have for Scorpio? Take that one. Let's see what we have. Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries fire sign. If you don't have an Aries around you, maybe you have Aries in your chart. They, somebody has heavy Aries in their chart. It could be anybody. It could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. It could even be a boss because the Aries does represent the emperor and tarot. It could be a boss or something like that. So however that resonates for you, if it doesn't, totally fine. All right. So let's get an opening message for you. Scorpio from the Moonology deck. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. How to book a personal reading, social media. All right, well, so let's get an opening message for you. Opening message for you, Scorpio. Opening message for Scorpio. I'm feeling that one. Okay, you are very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Maybe you're, uh, you know, the Aries can be em uh, an emperor or emperor, empress, whatever here, but maybe you're, you know, very close to achieving your goal. You know, the full moon here, Gibbous Moon, is like completion. So you could be, maybe you're trying to start your own business. Maybe you're trying to become a higher achiever, like a higher ranking boss, a CEO, or president of a company or something here, but whatever this you're trying to achieve, Spirit wants you to know you are very close to getting there, so don't give up. Remain fiery and passionate as with that fiery Aries energy. All right, so let's get a card here for your energy right now for Scorpio. <laughs> and your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn is coming up um, the end of December into January. Maybe the starting of the new year. Maybe you're going to be starting a new role, a new position, a new job, um, a promotion here during Capricorn season. Or you could have a Capricorn around you. So whatever hard work you're doing here, it's paying off and you're very close to achieving your goal. Those two just coincide with one another. And you have new moon to the gibbous moon, which is a full moon, which is completion. A full cycle here. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Emotions are running high. Super moon. So you could be very emotional right now for some reason at this time. So try to keep your feelings, emotions in check. Uh, if you're feeling emotional in some way about this situation. Maybe, I don't know. I, I'm getting an energy of like a very exciting um, kind of energy. Um like a very proud energy. So be careful you don't get too caught up in like pride and ego energy either. And getting like cocky, like overconfident and cocky also. Because sometimes Aries can be that emperor who can be like overconfident and cocky also, even though they are the boss in charge ruler. So try not to get into that energy. All right. So Scorpio. Let's clarify this with tarot. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this with tarot. And the Capricorn energy there can also represent the devil in tarot, which is about kind of like toxic negative energy, 
It can be fear. It can be ego. It can be things like that. So yeah, don't try not to get too overconfident, too over cocky and come in a place of like get into that energy of like ego and kind of that energy kind of control try to control that all right so let's see what's going on for you wow okay <laughs> scorpio all right and there you are bam king or queen doesn't matter king of cups so yeah i feel like you're kind of full of yourself <laughs> i don't mean to say that but that's what i'm getting uh or you know this is just having self-value worth self-love um, being very confident. Okay. Your cup, I feel, is totally full. Could be <laughs> full of yourself. I don't, I don't know. I'm an honest reader, reader so I'm going to tell it like it is. So, yeah, the chariot here. So, again, positive movement forward. Cancer energy doesn't have to be. So, being very driven here to move forward. Success, victory, being you know, try to remain balanced. This is a card of balance, moving forward in a very balanced energy to success and victory, being, you know, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Determined, go-getter, being very, like, brave and courageous, moving forward. All right, so let's get a couple more, a couple more for your energy. The world, yeah, so completing a cycle and a new cycle, and I have felt that energy. And this is earth energy, and I think it also represents the fixed signs, which I'm not too sure what the fixed signs are. Um, but yeah, com completing a cycle, starting a new cycle with the world. You could be also traveling. Maybe you have to travel overseas for some of you. Traveling the world, nine of wands. So yeah, your hard work. This is your hard work paying off. Fire energy, Leo Sag Aries doesn't have to be, but being the wounded warrior, the tattered soldier. You know it's been a long, hard battle and fight, but your hard work is paying off. Hard work. All right, so let's get your actual situation. Let's get your actual situation here. The tower. Hmm, that's that Aries energy. Again, confirmation there. The King of Pentacles, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's right in the middle of your spread. We'll get one more. And the Six of Pentacles, so balanced energy here. So, yeah. Pentacle energy is very balanced. It's very structured. It's stable. It's grounded. It's growth and abundance, prosperity and wealth, uh, smart, analytical, practical. You could have uh, earth sign around you. Uh, I feel like this water sign is you. Completing a cycle, starting a new cycle, moving forward fearlessly there to your success. Been a long, hard battle here with the Nine of Wands, but that hard work is paying off. But the tower there... Um, it can be a surprise or it can be something crumbling down, um, epiphany, a shake-up breakdown. So let's see why the tower is here. The Hierophant. Ooh. So this could have been something you were committed to because it's right under the world, which is about completing a cycle. So it could have been something you were very committed to, uh, could have been a job, it could have been a relationship, could have been anything here. I feel like this is like career orientated. So the Hierophant energy is, you know, about commitment and about um, doing what's moral, just and right, values, faith, spirituality, uh, wise guidance, structure. So I feel like whatever cycle you're closing out, you're very committed, very committed moving forward, but also I feel like something you were very committed to for a very long time. You know, maybe you just had this big epiphany and aha moment, like, you know, I need to make change here. Like realizing your self-value and your worth and knowing I need to be more stable. So now positive movement forward with balance, balance. So let's get one more. That's too many. The Knight of Cups. So again, moving, it's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So moving forward here with love, compassion, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. So, you know, moving forward in your 
passion in life, what, you know, absolutely love to do, what's best for you, having that self-love, I feel, because that's your energy, that's your energy. Yeah, so this I, tower, I'm thinking, is a big epiphany. I mean, you could have had something crumble down or break down and come to an ending, and that's why you have this world with ending something and a new beginning. But you're very close to getting there. You're very, very close. You put it, definitely put in that hard work. And you will be more stable and grounding. So here's the uh, temperance, Sagittarius. So bringing you what's divinely guided for you. Um, it's about patience, healing, and balance. So yeah, really needing to balance out your energy here. You know, don't get too caught up in like ego and overconfident kind of energy. Just try to remain balanced here. This is your advice. So we do have balance here. All right, so have patience in your situation. The sun, because there you go. Leo energy doesn't have to be. Total happiness and joy, success and abundance, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing energy. Birth to something new here with the sun. Happiest, happiest card in the deck overcomes everything here. Happiness, joy, abundance. All right, so what else? And there's your proper... There's your prosperous new beginning here of abundance and growth expansion. Built on a firm foundation moving forward for the future. Going down the right road. Going down the right path. So just know you're doing that. Stay committed to that. Try to stay in a balanced energy. Don't get over emotional, over cocky, over um, indulgent, over, you know, that kind of energy. So let's see one more here. Three of swords. So this is heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, uh, something very painful here. Uh, so, you know, something painful could have happened in the past here. Could have been that tower moment. You know, whatever ending could have could have been very um, painful and hurtful with this tower. But you're going to overcome this with balance and happiness and joy, success, and prosperous, abundant new beginning. All right, so whatever the three of swords was for you, whatever painful ending that was, it could have been a relationship, just a job. That was a very painful job. Uh, always was a lot of like backstabbing energy, uh, hurtful energy. Okay, so let's see what your possible outcome will be. So the Page of Wands, this is good news coming in. This could be an offer. This could be um, a new project, endeavor, idea, offer, a new job. Um, very fiery, passionate energy. Good news communication coming in. That will lead to your total happiness and joy here. The hangman. So Cancer Pisces energy here. So you may feel like right now, even though you're putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, moving forward, getting over hurts of the past, trying to remain balanced, not getting too over emotional or cocky or in that ego energy. You know, you, you may still feel this energy of um, things are not really moving forward, like kind of things are at a standstill. But, you know, the hanged man does gain enlightenment. So let this give you enlightenment on what could come in here for you. Um, it's just a temporary pause and a break. You know, you can free yourself from this at any time. Take action. All right, because we do have taking action here with the Chariot and the Knight of Cups. All right, so let's see one more. And the Page of Pentacles, so there's another offer coming in. And it could be a job offer here. But this could also be a student, so you could have been, you could have went back to school, you know, hiring your education, getting a degree, leveling up so you can move up, you know, in your career. It could be that energy. It could be an energy of an offer coming in. It could be unexpected money coming in. It could be a job offer. It could be anything here. You have two pages here. So definitely messages coming in for you. Good news, offers. After a pause and a break, you know, you may not see it coming. That could also be the tower moment here. Like this unexpected good news offer coming in. Like out of nowhere that leads to your happiness, joy, and abundance moving forward in a very balanced energy. And this new beginning here of growth and abundance. Stay committed, stay dedicated, stay in a good vibration. 
All right, so let's see what is under the deck. Ten of Cups, so there's your total fulfillment, joy, happiness, happy home and family, fulfilled in every single way. Three, one, yeah, you're patiently waiting for this to come in. That's why you've got the hangman kind of waiting. It's in a standstill. You know, you see it out in the distance. It's almost there. It's not quite there yet, so waiting for that. Painful, hurtful ending here. So something painful, hurtful ended in the past. Could have been a job you had that was just like total BS relationship whatever here but ending there but you have that ace there for a new beginning no feeling abandoned left out in the cold monetary lack neglect you know this is kind of how you felt at your other job but now being in the king of, king of wands energy fire energy again so you definitely could have a fire sign around you or this is just your energy male female doesn't matter in a very passionate energy a go-getter kind of energy they go after what they want very successful Creative ideas, entrepreneur kind of energy, and being an em emperor, empress energy. So we had, I had said emperor with Aries. I said emperor or empress, and now he is the empress. So whether you're female or male watching this, this is knowing your value, worth, birth to new things, standing your ground, um, being that emperor, empress. And there's <laughs> brand new beginning, ace of swords, based on truth, clarity, the epiphany, aha moment realization, um, clear cut communication, cutting away things not serving you, standing up for yourself and not backing down, listening to your gut and your intuition, Cancer Pisces energy here, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, maybe just keeping to yourself, not telling everybody what you're doing kind of energy. There's a new beginning based on truth and clarity, being in your emperor, empress energy, passionate go-getter kind of energy. You know, tired of feeling, ending that energy of being left out in the cold, monetary lack. Had enough of that. So your future's coming in. It's just a little more waiting here, but total fulfillment in the end here. The Ten of Cups. Wow, Scorpio, you're almost there. Almost there. Just watch your energy. Stay positive. Keep working. Keep moving on. It's all coming in here. All right, so I'm going to get some extra messages here um, with this deck here, Scorpio. If you do like how I read my style please do like share comment and subscribe i love to read the comments if you subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out on future readings i do four readings a month for every sign i do a general tower forecast like this i do a love connection energy reading i do a singles reading who's coming towards you and i do messages from spirit what you need to know from spirit at this time so if you are interested in that please do subscribe hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you thank you and thank you to everybody who supported the channel. I couldn't do it without you. Being a part of the channel's growth and supporting it would not happen without you guys liking, sharing, and all that great stuff. So thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Scorpio, to throw on top of here. What are some extra messages for Scorpio? Physical activity. So some of you may need to have more physical activity, exercise, um, that sort of energy. So we have 13 there which is four. Four is about uh, basis, foundation, stability. So I think, you know, the more you stay physical, exercise, and better your health, your physical condition, it's just going to bring you in more stability. You'll stabilize your health. You'll be able to have um, a better foundation, not only within yourself, but your environment also. So that's a message for some. All right. So, or maybe you're... Um, new direction you're going in is a very physical job or career you're going after here all right so let's get another one here personal growth exactly seven divinely guided for you manifesting that with purple so again personal growth here going through a lot here to better yourself to achieving your goal all right so what else do we have time out again here with the hangman energy Seven is three, ten ending, one new beginning. So yeah, you feel like things are kind of like in a timeout. And you may not, and I think you're not going to see these offers coming in or this very um, fast-paced, exciting offer that's very stable. Good news. You know, you may see, you know, just a timeout right now. Things aren't really, things aren't, ha you got all purple here. So yeah, things are manifesting behind the scenes for you, whether you see it or not. And there's the sun energy with yellow, your happiness and success there. So we have karmic completion here with 10 ending, 
one new beginning. So some of you, this could be, you know, karmic completion can be anything. It can be a person, place, thing, situation. Some of you, it could be a relationship. It could be a job that's no longer serving you. Um, friend, family, it could be anything here. But some sort of karmic completion for your own personal growth. Some of you need to get out and get more physical activity. The time out here, but things are coming in. You may not see it and may come as a shock or a surprise. So stay balanced and keep putting in the hard work and your success and abundance coming in for you, Scorpio. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.